Okay. Holy shit, I've done so many tries on this fucking commentary, it's ridiculous. Just different things every time happening. So, let me try this here. <laughs> Holy fuck, alright, I'm only gonna get into... Okay, they came out, Black Ops 2 came out with fucking microtransaction system, I'll get into that in another video. Right, uh, this is the only thing I want to talk about, this extra slots pack. This thing has just... I've found out a different thing about it each time I've done this commentary, so let me get into this. And hopefully I don't find anything new. So, the description of it is very poorly done. I thought it was one thing, and then it wasn't, and then it wasn't what I thought it was either. And, uh, alright, let me just get into this. So what it gave you is, I guess I'll just go to COD TV to show you this. So if you look on the right there, it shows slots used. You were only allowed 8 films saved. Now it goes to 40. You had X amount of screenshots allowed. Now it goes to 50. Custom games go to 50. Emblems go to 30 instead of 10. And then you get videos, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, maybe like the ones you create or something. I don't know. Whatever, it's not important. Point is, is you get a shit ton of more slots to save shit in. Which is great. That's not the main point I bought it. It was just a nice add-on. The main point I bought it is so I could have 10 extra custom classes. So, what I thought is it would have been 20. But it says 10 sets of custom classes. No one knows, or at least I didn't know what the fuck set was, nor did I read it first. But, as you see, here's my 10 custom classes I have. Then you can go to set 2. You get another 10. Set 3, another 10, 4, 5, 6 goes all the way up to 10, meaning you get 100 classes in total. Now, my mind was just fucking blown that I could have 100 different custom classes and pick from them. And then, yeah, whatever. You can also rename the sets and copy them, whatever. So then my mind is just fucking blown, as I said, and I'm really happy. Still like, still like this purchase. This purchase is amazing. I would totally recommend it if you play a lot of game modes and stuff, because I'll get into that here. So, if I go into a custom game, uh, create a class is here. Alright, so we have a DSR one. Like, whatever. Um, the thing you have to be aware about is, and this is what I... Uh, I understand why they did it, but at the same time it pisses me the fuck off because it's so deceiving is, for example, I'll make a tar, got an MP7, actually I should probably, and I got a shotgun, assault shield, and then I'll just have a class with this on. So as you see, very different class set 1 and class set 2. I have class set 2 highlighted and I press back. Now when I start the game up, oops, start the game up, when we get into the game, you will see the problem that a lot of people will run into. And this is... I was fucking super excited when I found out that you could have the 10, and then when I found out that it came with sets of up to 100, I was just... my mind was... or up to 10, but like 100 custom class, my mind was blown how they could do that. And then I get into the in-game, and then I was like, what the fuck? So, let me just pick this class here. Notice I was on class 2 when I backed out of it. Oops. So when I go to change my class, I can't alt go back from class, like each class set, so you're stuck with this class set. And if you weren't done, then this is all you would have, versus my other one with all the guns and perks and stuff. So there's no way, at least I'm, that I know of, that you can change. And the reason they did this is so... And, uh, I don't want to get into the rant here, is because technically you're... Actually, it's not really you're buying power as much as you're buying something that would benefit you more uh, than what something that other people wouldn't have. Like, I could have, like, 50 classes of just different ways to take out killstreaks or something like that. Um, or, like, just... Yeah, it's just... They would give too many options to certain people who are willing to pay money. I think is what they're going for here, why they said that you can't. 
So that's just what the pack is. That's what it does. I just want you to know so you kind of know before you buy it because it doesn't really do a good job of it. Um, but I'll get into why I think it's a good idea. So, for instance, you can do this. Let me just name this. That one. And, like, you can just have a different class for each game mode. We'll do... Uh... Domination one, whatever, I'll keep it at that. So you have my basic ones, whatever. You have search and destroy ones, which you could have like your try hard some machine gun, try hard like I don't know, fucking assault rifle, just a fool around SMG, like you could just have a whole bunch of stuff, but for search. Then you can be like if you're playing in a party and they're like, Oh, let's play ground war like domination or something, you just switch to this class preset. This one could be Kill Confirmed or something. This one could be, I don't know, whatever other fucking game modes there are in this game. So it can... It's kind of good in that way if you remember to change it. If you don't, then you're kind of fucked in a way. Um, but you could also have a class just for challenges, which I will probably make. And those ones will just only have... Yeah, like I, it's a good idea, but it's just... You're going to have to remember, we have all been there where you can't remember to change kill streaks. How the fuck are we going to remember to change through all of these? Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to do, give you guys a heads up on what this whole extra slot thing was, uh, just so you knew. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure I already showed you guys the emblem thing. 9 of 30, yeah, I did, whatever. Um, here are the camo things. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Um, but yeah, that's just so you guys know what it's all about, uh, that extra slot pack. I'll get into the whole map pack probably after you, or not map pack, but all the DLC pack little things. I'll get into what those are, uh, in another video as well as if I can get my mind on the right track, I will, might, or I might do a micro chance actions rant slash something discussion video anyways that should be good enough <laughs> i don't think i fucked up anything so yeah so you can rename copy yeah whatever i i, I personally think this is a good purchase if you are needing of these things if not then don't worry about it you're not forced to buy these in any way shape or form <sighs> Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this helped you, and we'll be, yeah, I'll see you later.